Hi there, I have here a box with an E1Pi in it. Let's go and take a look. So we have here the E1Pi, and uh, this unit has got a Wi Fi dongle ready installed in there. Um, we have here the USB sockets for the Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 2, Ethernet, and the main uh, 5 volt power input for the E1Pi. There is the connector for the SMA antenna that's included here in the box. This allows the E1 Pi to receive data from other units such as the Monty H temperature humidity node or the Monty X. Uh, if you're not if you haven't got any other wireless nodes on your network, then you can um, you can leave the antenna off. And around the other side here we have the E1 Pi um, sensor connections, CT1 and CT2 clip-on current sensors and a 9 volt uh, AC uh, waveform input. This, um, the AC adapter, which is, which is here, this is a UK plug version. This allows the Mumpai to, to sample the AC waveform to do more accurate real power calculations, um, where it allows the Mumpai to calculate power factor and VRMS as well as um, infer the direction of current flow. So if you're monitoring solar PV, using an AC adapter um, is essential to allow the Mumpai to determine the direction of the current flow. Um, even though you can use the Mumpai just with a, um, a clip-on current sensor, we'd highly recommend using um, uh, an AC adapter also to get a voltage waveform reference, if possible. So we can plug CT1 in there. This clip-on CT current sensor clips round the either the live or neutral wire, um, not both, um, by your utility meter. And the AC adapter um, goes in goes in there. And this port here, with it's got a red blanking sticker over, just to remind us that this is even though it's an RJ45 socket, it's not Ethernet. It's a general purpose RJ45 um, digital uh, input output. Here we have access to the MPI's power rails as well as um, one wire te temperature bus and interrupt input. So the, this can be used for temperature sensing. Up to six one wire temperature sensors can be connected. Digital temperature sensors on a, on a bus. I've got one here these available through the shop and this is on an RJ45 cable so we can plug that straight into there and that will give us one temperature reading. We also have available um, in the shop a um, junction block to allow the six of these to be connected um, to there to the RJ45 port. Now, standard RJ45 cabling can be used to extend these wires, um, but it's not an IP network, so don't don't expect uh, the, these signals to be routed through a Wi-Fi router. It's very important that uh, Ethernet is not connected into the socket. So, so around the other side here, this is just a USB 5 volt power adapter. A uh, mobile phone charger can be used. Just make sure it's a high quality unit and it's got an output of at least one amp. We recommend um, 1.2 amps, 1,000, 1,200 milliamps. This, these units here that we um, have available in the shop are 1.2 amp units and available in uh, US, uh, Euro or here we have a um, UK plug top. And then there's a, the mini USB cable plugs into there and then this is the main power to the Emon Pi. Um, unlike on the Emon TX, um, our other energy monitoring unit, we can actually power the whole unit from the AC adapter um, but due to the higher power requirements of the Raspberry Pi in the Emon Pi, I'm afraid we have to use um, a DC adapter um, as, as well. 
and finally in, in the box here we have um, the wall mount um, lugs these screw into the Mumpai on the side there um, attach the little screw into the aluminium and then they allow the Mumpai to be to be wall mounted like that and that's the push button to scroll through the LCD display and there we have the power off if you can see that um, the power off button so let's go on and power up the Mumpai.